Welcome to lesson number 25, how to know if you customize a vendor MSI correctly. We are not going to talk about a tool, but rather a script that allows you to compare if you made the correct changes on an MSI with an MST. So let's assume you have an MSI from a large vendor with a lot of features and components. You apply a transform to it based on the specifications, which changes the features and components. Uh, for example, you remove certain features. So far, everything is going well. But how do you know whether everything is properly installed? How do you know if you've chosen the proper features and components to install? In some cases, a setup.exe that contains a hidden MSI can install the MSI with a specific install level, which may remove some functionalities. Microsoft provides a VB script in the Windows SDK components for Windows installer developers that allows you to list items, attributes, features, and components, among other things. But how can you use it to compare with your original MSI to the one which you changed with the MST? Well, it's actually quite straightforward. First, you need to install the original MSI or EXE with the needed adjustments on a clean system. Next, you need to copy the VBS which Microsoft provides on a desired location, for example on C drive, and in the same directory create the following batch file that will look something like this. Before running the batch files, uh, keep a short eye uh, where the VBS is copied and replace it in the actual batch file and replace the numbers you see here with your MSI product code. When you double click the CMD, two text files, features and components will be created in the specified location, each containing the installed and omitted features. Now, Install your MSI with your self-designed MST on a clean system and repeat the same steps that you did previously. Then, using your preferred compare tool, compare the original features and components text files with the changed ones. Uh, in a previous video we talked about Beyond Compare and in our case we are going to use it in this video as well. And upon closer inspection, it looks like all the features and components have been configured to be installed as our customer requested. Isn't that fantastic? The following video, we will go through Windows installer logs and how to use them to debug a faulty installation.